favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Motion carries. Earlier this month, the Clovis Unified School District Board made it official. Changes are being made to the ever so strict dress code policy in order to make it more gender neutral. Clovis Unified was founded over 50 years ago, and from that point on, they have been known in the state of California to have one of the more strict dress code policies. Kelly A. Vance, Chief Communication Officer for the School District, says that this was a big step modifying the dress code policy, but it will still be as strict as before. In April, our governing board voted to approve a modification to our existing dress code. Um, we still have a dress code in Clovis Unified. It's still the strongest in the state of California. In support of the wanted changes, some of the students started a student petition that had over 2,000 signatures on it, citing that CUSD could not stop people from expressing themselves. Some of the male students even went as far as wearing dresses to school. Most of the students on the campuses of Clovis Unified are now happy that the changes were actually made. But Piper Taylor is not one of them. I think it's unfair because um, they need it for more freedom for guys, and I think that there should be more freedom for girls. Clovis Unified School District has been known to have one of the most strict dress code policies in the state of California. But the recent changes made to that policy worry some of the parents. I think Clovis has maintained a very strict dress code for years. It worked when I was there. It worked before that. It worked after that. By loosening it up, they're opening the door to so much trouble. Some of the boys have already started wearing earrings to school and long hair is soon to follow. We'll have to wait and see if the recent changes can go without being distractions on campuses throughout the district like the administration hopes for. Johnny Martin, Fresno State Focus.